Disney, Encanto, Antonio's Amazing Gift, written by Naive Reynoso, illustrated by Juliette Oberndorfer. Antonio Madrigal lived in a magical house called Casita. It was a big day at Casita. It was Antonio's fifth birthday. It was also his gift day. The Madrigals each had a special gift and a magical bedroom to match. His cousin Luisa had super strength. His big sister Dolores could hear a pin drop from a mile away, and his oldest cousin Isabella grew flowers with every step. Antonio's family gathered around his new bedroom door and waited to see what his gift would be. As Antonio touched the doorknob, a friendly-looking tucan appeared on his arm. Squawk! Squawk! Yes, I understand you. Of course they can come, said Antonio. It was his gift. He was able to talk with animals. Abuela Alma hugged Antonio tight. I knew you could do it. His new room was an endless rainforest. There was so much to see. The animals took turns showing him around. First he watched as the coatis went running and swinging through the trees. Then the macaws joined him high in the air for a bird's eye view of his room below. He even joined the chiwitos for a snack. The once shy little boy was finally coming out of his shell. He loved hanging around with his new friends. And his new friends loved hanging around with Antonio. It was the best birthday ever. Soon Antonio's family brought the rest of the birthday celebration to his room. The Madrigals looked around with their eyes wide in wonder. It was a room like no other in Casita. Luisa brought the biggest plate of cocadas Antonio had ever seen. We can help you with that, he said. His Aunt Julieta had cooked arepas. The macaws helped themselves. The entire family danced and celebrated Antonio's gift. With all the fun he was having, Antonio had lost track of time. It's almost bedtime, said Antonio's mom. Antonio let out a big yawn. Soon all the animals were yawning too. Good night, buenas noches, said Antonio, falling asleep in his new room, surrounded by new friends.